Mr. Chair. Could, yes, go ahead. Um, another small item, and it, it may have already been corrected, but if the staff could again go through and making sure that the headings and the fonts are of the right size, because I know at different times I caught a few um, that can visually create misperceptions of categories and so forth. So again, I'm just a, a, another, it's part of the never-ending proofing. Yes. <laughs> uh, and, and all of us who keep reading the same thing time and time again, sometimes it would slip. But I think that becomes important so there's a visual consistency amongst the headings, the colorings, the, the relationships and things along the outline. Yeah, absolutely. We, I, hate, I hate to say it, but earlier today, even though we've asked farm to be removed, we caught, <laughs> caught a reference to farm and they removed it for this draft. But um, the, I, I think that's noted that there's small things that we have to pay attention to. Here you go. Zell, I was just thinking about some other little uh, things that kind of <clears throat> stick out in my mind in terms of those hyphenated words that shouldn't be hyphenated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Block? <clears throat> Nothing? Campbell? No. Nothing? So at this juncture? Well, I see on page 207, and I guess that's just going to stay in there, um, because maybe the flood schools has gained a negative reputation regionally and statewide. I'd asked before what was the um, data, never did receive where that came from, if that's just an opinion that's in there. Um, and I'm reading to see what was the, the point um, for that. If, um, if you have recommended language on that, we can, um, again, I think we did send something, but perhaps it would be helpful to get recommended language. We can just modify that. I'm, I'm just wondering, looking at that paragraph, it tends, it, it appears to be kind of summarizing the student enrollment now compared to what it was in the past. I'm wondering if that sentence even has to be in there about the reputation or whether that could just be struck and kind of maintain the main idea. Sure. Okay. It's on page um, 207. So it would remove the sentence, while it has a long history of providing adequate education, the district has gained a negative reputation both regionally and statewide in recent years. So we just take that part out and then keep the bit about the enrollment? Yeah, okay. I think that makes perfect sense. I Is that in the 207 or the new or the old? 207 uh, of the one that was just put on. The new. Yeah. The new it, one. It, it, the new it, is new. It, it, <laughs> it, may, it may be one of those things that we cross-reference from the 19th that didn't make it. Yeah. it I know the ADA uh, transition plan didn't. We'll be, able to, we'll be in town on Thursday and Friday, so whoever looks, please look at page 207 <laughs> yes. for me. Please. Did you make a note of that, Elizabeth? <laughs> <laughs> You're assuming it's going to be me. <laughs> yes. Was it page two? All right, right. page two also. In the news. Correction on wording. Page two oh seven. Got it. Anything else? So at this time, and I will read the. Resolution. It says a Flint Planning Commission resolution. A resolution to approve the proposed City of Flint Master Plan by the City by the Flint Planning Commission. The City of Flint Planning Commission has prepared a draft master plan under the authority of the Michigan Planning Enabling Act, PA 33 of 2008, as amended. And on October 15th, the City of Flint Planning Commission conducted a public hearing as required by the Michigan Planning Enabling Act, and the City of Flint Planning Commission has determined that the plan has presented, as presented at the public hearing, along with the revisions made following public comment, is an appropriate guide for the future development of the community. 
It is resolved that the city that the city of Flint Planning Commission approve the city of Flint master plan update and authorize under the Michigan Planning Act as authorized under the Michigan Planning Enabling Act is to have signature of myself and the secretary who is not here but the vice chair will sign instead if that's the desire of the commission. Yes. Do you need a motion? I need a motion. I would entertain that. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion um, to present the resolution to approve the proposed City of Flint master plan as presented. Support. It's moved and properly supported. Any discussion? Yes. One, one item just for the sake of procedure, um, since we're now approving this resolution, and there have been a number of edits and corrections as we've talked about this evening. It, it's my understanding, it's the staff's understanding and others that this approval of this resolution is also based on those edits and corrections. So that, for the record, mm -hmm. so that so that we are giving approval based on the things that we've reviewed and discussed and that we're comfortable with and, and appreciate the staff, but also making sure that the staff is aware of needing to do the homework. Mm -hmm. Any other discussion? Roll. Commissioner Campbell? Yes. Commissioner to approve. Yes to approve. Commissioner Blower? Yes. Commissioner Jewell? Yes, with the comments that I already stated. Commissioner Allen? Yes. Commissioner McCree? Yes. Commissioner Jordan? Yes. Chairman Wesley? Yes. I will sign this and send it forward. For the commission, for the council. Okay, can we clap? Thank you. <laughs> um, chair would entertain. No, 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 can't do that yet. You can't. You gotta get the signature. <laughs> Mr. Chair, yes. while we're getting signatures, can I like to personally thank Mr. Richardson for all of your hard work for attending all of the meetings. <laughs> uh, and I know there's others that have been attending a lot, but I know Mr. Richardson has been very, very diligent and very faithful about attending every single meeting. So I would like to personally, I've thanked him before, but I'd like to personally probably thank him for all his hard work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ms. Campbell, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I also want to just, I guess, as a gesture for those who are not here this evening and those who've done an outstanding job, whether it be advisory group, steering committee, attending the sessions, following up, writing up on stuff, I think it's just appropriate they're not here, that we give them a round of applause so that people are aware of the fact that, that it's not just this is the end and that's it and it's over. I think it's also appropriate for us to be extremely appreciative to the staff um, who have diligently followed up on a variety of concerns that each of us have had individually, collectively as a planning commission, and also issues that individuals or groups or organizations in the community have raised um, and I think the third part is I think we ought to express extreme appreciation to our chair 
who has done an excellent job in helping us to stay the course at a number of the times and so forth. <laughs> Okay, while we're passing out uh, those uh, kudos. accolade kudos and what have you, um, I would like to, you know, personally thank Jim Richardson also because I would ask him to do certain things and he always say what he's going to do to me, but he, he's always right there. Uh, Jim, thank you so very much for all your efforts. Thank you. I'd like to take the opportunity, and you know, this is not anything political here. But I'd like to thank the mayor. Uh, he was really helpful and, and really wanted to make sure that this goes forward. Um, mayor, thank you so very much. Thank you. On a real personal note, Elizabeth Jordan. Yes. Who has yes. Been, <laughs> she's tireless, tireless. And yes, I, yes. And yes, often, yes. I, 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 sometimes I'm concerned. Uh, uh, but she's, she's just tireless, Elizabeth. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm sure her um, you know, when you start giving out those type of things, you often leave out folks. But way back when, before this process ever got started, there was a guy by the name of mm, Mike Brown, who was off, who was the before he was the emergency manager, who was really instrumental in wanting to and knowing that this city needed a master plan and really worked hard to get that started. And, you know, Mike is not here, but I'd like to go on record. I'd like to really thank him, too, for all the help and assistance that uh, he gave us during this process. If there's nothing else, uh, thank you guys, each one of you, for all your help uh, and taking the opportunity. And, and this is a, a daunting a document. And starting from day one, when we started getting our consultants and planning these meetings and planning the steering committee, those folks in the steering committee who have done such a, a great job, too, and, and working with this. Uh, so thank each and every one of you for your efforts and help in doing this. Chair to entertain a motion for adjournment, if there's nothing else. I'll, so I'll move. Make you, I'll second Court. it. Oh, thanks again, everybody, for coming out. We're all waiting on who's going to give a motion to adjourn, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.